the thing just started making a noise. Um, you guys, <laughs> we raised enough money for Rex to get surgery. Now we just have to fin finish up for baby to get surgery. I'm gonna show you the results of them getting better so they don't have to suffer anymore, you guys. When I saw the support that you put into the GoFundMe for these poor dogs that need help, like, <sighs> I was crying. And even the support that I was receiving when it comes to people sticking up for me, um, there were some people on here saying like, oh, there are people that are dying. There are like starving people around the world. There's homeless people in California. Listen. I understand that but there's only so much that one person can do and God has angels on earth that have a mission and this is my mission it's just for now it doesn't mean that it's not going to change in a year from now or even six months from now or even two months from now I'm not a bad person because I want to help animals and that I'm not doing more for people in general because that's just not true i'm giving free readings every single day all the time so everything is okay when i'm doing giving out the free stuff but when those people were saying there were actually people who were saying pretty nasty things um and it made me realize i already knew this but it even sunk in more that some of the people and i'm not talking about you because i know that you do have a sweetheart but some of the people watching these videos have a very big ego and all they want is for their ego to be fed so they listen to this information about them being a great person they listen to this information about other people suck and you're great and this and that that's not the way that i conduct my readings to make other people build up their ego even more it's for you to find your heart again for you to find that safe space within your heart but also for other people around you to feel safe to to do that and you know i don't think that i'm a bad person for wanting to help animals and just because i'm not talking about it in that moment it doesn't mean that i'm not helping humans it doesn't mean that i'm not doing other stuff for people but i was talking about the gofundme for the two animals that needed help in that moment so Yes, I understand that there's there's people who need help in the world and I'm doing what I can on my part, but like to the people who were saying to me that like there's people who need help in the world, okay, well, what are you doing then to help that? What are you doing? Why are you focusing on me and what I'm not doing enough of? Because I actually feel like I'm over pouring into somebody else's cup and my cup is empty. You know what I mean? I feel good. I feel fulfilled that I'm helping that I'm doing it, but it's, it drains you when you see that there are people who want to poke at you for doing something good because you're not doing something greater than good. Like, excuse me. And then there was somebody else who was like, you should have made this a completely separate video. Guess what? I didn't. And I don't really care. And it's not to be sassy, it's not to be like, to have an attitude, like it's genuinely, I genuinely do not care because what happened happened, the way I made the video is the way I made the video and get over it. That's how I feel. Love you guys and I love you guys who support me, who truly support me and you. Even like the, even just sending prayers, the smallest thing, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, your angels are showing that there's somebody that's at a distance from you right now. But whoever this person is, they are going to be requesting you of something. What is this? Okay, so there's air sign energy here as being significant. That is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They actually might invite you to do something fun. to Maybe to go out to a dinner. Um, to do something that just... That you don't usually do kind of get your mind off of stuff but like with this individual there is a bit of distance so that's why there's going to be communicating about like let's do something pleasurable let's do something fun to lift up the energy okay that's crazy there's distance between the both of you right and it seems as if this person doesn't care and you care so much and you're constantly giving 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 and doing whatever you can like i was talking about overflowing the cup and then the other person's so inconsiderate about, inconsiderate about all that you're giving. 
angels are sa saying, showing that there is an ending coming when it comes to this um, giving too much to others. Because it also like makes them drown in too much emotion. It's exhausting. So I'm sensing that there's going to be some kind of a delay with this person and this ending. And it's because of the way that you're manifesting. Like the shift is happening right now. You can't see it. But you're going to be placed in a different position where you're going to be able to step up and lead. You're going to be able to have this person who hasn't cared about the way that you feel. It's like you're going to start thinking different about it. And when you start thinking different about it and being active about thinking different about it, then that's when what you desire is gonna come in. Because if you're constantly focusing on the things that you don't like in a relationship, then those things grow bigger and bigger and bigger. What you focus on grows. But if you start focusing on yourself, the gym, or going and going for a walk, or taking your dog for a walk, or whatever it might be for yourself, and you are not paying any mind to the other person, when you are completely focused on that person, you're giving them your energy. But when you are, you ever notice when you're going the opposite way and you're like, you know what, screw that person. That's when they can't stop thinking about you. That's when they're like, no, 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 come back, come back, come back. Um, I'm just seeing that you're manifesting a different way of thinking, which is going to help you manifest a different way of living with this individual, which is gonna help you make more pleasurable moments together. Angels are mentioning that there's been this feeling. Oops. There's been this feeling of not having enough um, and not getting what you feel like you deserve. And it causes fighting and it causes a lot of, I'm hearing the word angst and heart pounding, angia, or whatever it's called. Um, this fighting is going to go to a different level, a different phase, and it, uh, not in like a level like higher. I'm seeing like simmering down. The conflict is finally going to be simmering down. Um, and I'm even seeing there could be inner conflict about finances and money, um, wondering and worrying if you're gonna have to dish up more money than you are used to because of feeling like you have to meet someone's standard. Um, but your angels are saying luck is on your side. You do not have to worry at all. You're a spiritual being. You're going to be manifesting more into your life. You're meant for that rich, lavish lifestyle. So whatever you do to give to somebody, know that it's going to come back to you times 10, whether it be the next day or whether it be the next year, it will come back to you. You just have to trust the process of it. But the last card that you got was luck luck is on your side and you know you are somebody who's a very spiritual individual you are a light that walks into other people's lives and now it's time for god to put the light into you and into your heart and into your life so other people can see the results that you receive from the spirituality that you try to share with other people around you what the f that was a message man Woo. Ah. on the other side Maybe I could talk to you about some stuff that I'm going through. Um, I thank you again for the donations for the animals. I cannot wait to show you what what uh, progression they make from the surgery. But I went to the doctors and they said that. So I went blind in my left eye. I didn't know what was wrong. I went to the hospital. Um, and I've been seeing a couple of doctors since then. and. They found out that my retina is um, detaching itself from my eye. And I've always had problems with my left eye for the past, for, for some years now. Um, and I never really knew what it was. I had like something in front of my eye, like a floater where I, I would move my eye and I could see something swimming in my eye, but it's just like a little piece of protein that broke off from the back of my eye and floated to the front. So now I have to see a neurological eye doctor to see if I have to get surgery to reattach it. And now I'm just like scared, genuinely scared. 
but I'm also taking this very lightly for some reason because I've gone through so much medically that I feel like now, what's this gonna be now, you know? I, I've gone through everything else, probably some of the worst stuff that I've ever felt. So if I have to get surgery when I'm asleep, I'm just praying that it's the right doctor and that like, uh, yeah. I'm just praying that it's the right doctor and that I am gonna be able to see with my left eye. But um, I did go to a psychic myself when I was a young kid and he, he mentioned something about my eyesight happening um, and he said that I will be able to see when I'm older and I do not have to worry about that. I'll be able to see the beautiful mountains, the beautiful sunsets, and those are my favorite things. But it does scare me, of course. And some of you are probably wondering, why does she need to see a psychic if she's a psychic herself? Well, I was very young and I didn't understand what I was seeing and what I was feeling. And he was actually the one who guided me a lot into my spirituality and what I do today. And let me realize that I don't have to feel guilty for not just believing in just God. I can believe in the universe because the universe is God. It's just a different way of thinking um, and a different way of loving and seeing things. When it comes to being a psychic for your own life, it's kind of just like being a normal person. Yes, I have an intuition and yes, I have very deep feelings about something if I know that I shouldn't do it. But sometimes here on earth, we do things to test it out and to just see what would happen because we want to do it anyway. I'm the same way. I kind of like to test things out and I like to see, well, what if the better thing happens, even though my angels are telling me not to do it. Still tried it and then it fails. It's just being a human being. And sometimes you wanna hold on to something to so tightly and you're in denial and you don't wanna let it go. Same thing happens to me. I'm a human too and I don't wanna let something go and I love it and I wanna care for it. But when God says it's time to let go, I have to trust and I do let go. Ugh, I'm just thinking so many thoughts right now. So many things going through my head. I don't know who to talk to about it because I feel like I don't want to burden my friends because there's so many things going on in their lives. It's like engagements. It's like like so many different things that I probably shouldn't even say on here because I don't know who's watching or whatever. Um, but you know, like people having babies and this and that. It's just, it's all wonderful stuff, but it's so much stuff that my brain is like, you know? And then there's the family stuff, which is, you know, I'll share more eventually. I will, but look at her. Oh wait, my hair's also growing back. Look at that. So my hair falls out sometimes, but it's growing back. That rosemary oil, there's a girl on TikTok that I buy the rosemary oil from. Hi, sweetheart. I love you. I love you.